Hello Internet. In this video, we're going to be looking at the problem of converting between uh, cases. So I might have made some typo and what I'm really looking for is the correct text. And uh, the way that we're going to implement this is not particularly efficient, but it's quite easy to implement. And uh, I'm going to be making use of Python's upper and lower case functions and then creating a map which will be able to swap between them. Let's see how this works. I create my opposites dictionary. I've got text upper and text lower. We're going to create a iterator over both of these. And I'll do that over here as well. And then I want to zip them together. So zip. And so for upper U and uh, lower L in uh, these two opposites U equals L and then opposites L equals U. And it's actually not equals the operation as opposed to the character, but we'll uh, let that slide for a moment. This is going to create our dictionary. I'll take a string, which an empty string, which has a join method, and then uh, ask for uh, opposites for character for C in, and I'll just iterate over the original text itself. Hello internet, and so you can see we have successfully um, moved from uh, this kind of horror, sort of mistake form into a nicer form. Yay! <laughs> so here's the original variable, just so that you can confirm. Okay, uh, and also just to demonstrate that this is actually something which you can implement in almost any language, I also want to show off Rust. Uh, so uh, the syntax is slightly different. Uh, I need to use this let keyword to assign a variable. And uh, I've got semicolons all over the place, which can kind of look slightly ugly or not so ugly, depending on what you uh, like or dislike. But we're going to do the same thing. So here's uh, the upper method from Python, now in Rust. Rust has something similar. Well, I've got a slightly ugly thing that I'm going to include right now, which is to initialize the dictionary or the equivalent of the dictionary is called a hash map in Rust. And it's all look sound familiar to you if you have used Java. And I'm going to map from one character to another character. And so I have a mutable value opposites that is initialized with this new method which creates an empty dictionary or something that is quite similar to an empty dictionary. Now let's look at how to iterate across. So it's a text to lowercase. I also need an extra method, characters. And uh, in Rust, this returns an iterator and iterators themselves have an, a zip method. So zip isn't a function in the same way that it is in Python to uppercase and then I need the characters there too. And I'm gonna run out of space. So for L, U, in, oh, and then I have opposites, upper, I map to lower. Actually, it'll be easier if I use the insert method. Okay, so now if I go to opposites, and dot len, it should point out sort of 19, which is quite useful. Uh, the syntax for creating this empty string though is slightly different. So I don't have an iter method over a text. I need to ask for each of its characters. And then I map over each character and I look up using a reference into opposites and get back uh, another character. It's opposite case. And then there is the collect method. Collect though needs a little bit of hinting. 
it not seems to know what to collect into and we're going to ask for it to collect into a string. This should produce hello internet and there you go that is how to invert the case using uh, two uh, calls to uh, either by I suppose two calls uppercase and lowercase and a hash map or dictionary depending on your language. This is a relatively uh, universal algorithm. Uh, I'm very curious as to see whether or not you can create a more sophisticated implementation for what I have suggested. I'm sure that you will uh, <laughs> find many improvements to the code. Uh, feel free to add those to the comments. Implementations that I have written here are available on my GitHub, which is linked in the description. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye-bye.